So if you see here, the arrangement of this uh, muscle, that is smooth muscle, is helical layer in which is present in the tunic armenia. Okay. And these are connected by the gap junctions. Okay. And these mainly the gap junctions, they are mainly seen in the arterioles and the small capillaries. Here if you look, you can see there is the intima, this is a schematic diagram again, okay, which is showing the intima, so this is the intima, this is the, again the tunica media and the tunica preventitia. With this, we go to the next part, that is the connective tissue. So one we have seen the muscle tissue, that is one component, another component we have seen the endothelium. Coming to the connective tissue, it consists of the different types of fibers. Okay, that is collagen fibers, elastic fibers, and the ground substrate. Now, these collagen fibers and the elastic fibers, okay, these are present in the tunica media and the adventitia. So, the collagen fibers you see they are formed between the smooth muscles. Okay, these are type 3 fibers, collagen fibers, which are also called the reticular fibers. Type 1 collagen fibers, which are present in the adventitia, the outermost covering of the blood vessel or the layer of the blood vessel. As well as they are present in the subendothelial layer. Few of the fibers that are also present in the subendothelial layer. Now, this collagen type 4, which is mainly present in the basement membrane okay, of the endothelial lining. The elastic fiber, they are mainly seen in the tunica media of the large caliber artery, that is, uh, for example, the aorta, okay, which are called as the conducting vessels. Now, the ground substance, it is a heterogeneous gel which is a present in the extracellular space. There is high concentration of glycosamonic lichen, which is mainly present in the arteries, which is more than the venous tissue. Now, with this, we will move for further. We have seen the components that the endothelium, then we have seen the muscular tissue, the connective tissue. Then, we will go for the basic structure of the vessel. Any vessel, what is the basic structure? So, basically, it will be having the three layers or three tunica tunica intima, tunica media, and tunica adventitia. Now, if you see in this diagram, the schematic diagram, you can see there is a tunica intima, okay, which is shown here, the yellow one, which is a tunica media, and the orange one, which is a tunica adventitia. So these are the three layers of any vessel. Maybe the artery, maybe the vein. So it will be having the tunica intima starting from inside of the Tunica intima, tunica media, and the tunica adventitia. Now coming to the each of the layer, basic layer we go for. Tunica intima, it again consists of three layers. What are these three layers? These are endothelial line, then subendothelial connective tissue and next the internal elastic lining. So these are the three other components of the tunica intima. So what is this endothelial lining? Again as we see it is a simple squamous epithelium which is resting on the basement membrane. Okay. Next it is a subendothelial connective tissue. So it is a connective tissue which is having collagen fibers, elastic fibers along with fibroblast cells and the macrophage cells. Now what is this internal elastic? This internal elastic lamina which is made of elastic fibers which is wavy in nature. You can see here the view uh, one line, the schematic line which is showing the internal elastic lamina. This internal elastic lamina which is separating the tunica media from the tunica intima. So we can see it is a line of marks. Now this internal elastic lamina which is wavy part of the inter tunica intima. So this is a tunica intima. So in the tunica intima, we will be say it is lining epithelium, that is endothelium. Next, it is a sub-endothelial connective tissue and third, it is a internal elastic line. One of the features of this internal elastic line is a finished plate. What is a finished plate? If you see the, if you are going to see the uh, media, so tunica media and the artery, they are also finished plate. Why so? Because the blood which is present in the lumen of the vessel is going to nourish the inner part of the wall of the tunica. It is a tunica intima and uh, tunica uh, inner part of the tunica medium. So 
see that's what the it is finished. So internal electric fan, which is uh, made of plastic fibers and which is fan state. What are the functions of endothelium? There are different functions of endothelium we see here. Basically, it will provide a smooth surface. Okay, so it will allow, allow the free flow of the blood. Next, also it is secreting the different types of fiber like type, type 2, type 3, type 4 collagen fiber. As we know, the type 4 collagen fiber which is present mainly in the basement membrane, which is synthesized or secreted by the endothelium. Also, it is producing the water active factors like endothelium. This is a water constrictive agent which is going to contract the blood vessel. Next, nitric oxide, which is uh, water factor, which is going to relax or which is going to dilate the blood vessel. Next is angiotensin converting enzyme. What is this angiotensin converting enzyme? It converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2, which plays an important role in regulation of the blood pressure. Okay. Lipolysis very important. Endothelial cells they bind the lipoprotein lipase, which breaks the lipoprotein. Okay, so they this endothelium also is going to help in the lipase. Enzymes of the endothelial cells it will inactivate certain hormones like serotonin, bradykinin, prostaglandin, thrombin, and noradrenaline. Okay, so these are the few functions of the endothelium. So we are looking for the basic vessel. We are seeing the tunica ilia, tunic sorry, tunica intima, in which we are seeing the endothelial lining, subjective tissue, and the internal elastic. We are seeing the endothelium around with these functions. Okay. Next part is of the basic structure it is a tunica media. Now very important here is tunica media. To see the tunica media. You can see there are smooth muscle cells which are present in the tunica media of the medium size artery while in the large size artery, the diameter is large, in that there are main component in the elastic fibers. So arrangement of this smooth muscle, if you see, it is helical. Okay. In between this, in between these uh, elastic fibers, okay, in this between these smooth muscles, there are elastic fibers, okay. As well as the reticular fiber smooth muscle, which is surrounded by basal lamina, that is elastic fiber, sorry, uh, reticular fibers, okay, which are type 3 collagen fibers. Okay, as this muscle they act like a fibroblast. We have seen the connective tissue, the fibroblast cell, which secrete, synthesize the fibers, different types of fibers, as well as the ground substance, that is extra matrix. Same way, this smooth muscle they secrete extracellular matrix. That means it is secreting the collagen fibers, elastic fibers, reticular fibers along with the ground substance. Coming to the external elastic lamina. External elastic lamina, here is a black line which is showing here the external elastic in the lamina between the tunica media and the tunica adventitia. Now, tunica adventitia, which is again connective tissue, which is separated from the tunica media by the external elastic. There is inter one more, is the internal elastic lamina we have seen, which is separating the tunica intima from the tunica media. Another we have seen the external elastic lamina, which is separating tunica media from the tunica adventitia. Okay. This is the second layer we have seen the basic structure. Coming to the next structure, that is the tunica adventitia. As we know, tunica adventitia is a connective tissue. And this tunica adventitia mainly it consists of type 1 collagen fibers. Okay? In tunica media we have seen the type 3 collagen fibers, which are mainly the uh, reticular fibers. Okay, here it is the mainly the type 1 collagen fibers along with elastic fibers. With this, it is having the blood vessels, it is having the lymphatics, it is having the nerves, it is having the vessels. Okay, all these components they are present in the adventitia. This adventitia, it continues or it merged with the surrounding tissue. Maybe the organ, maybe the tissue, it gets surrounding tissue. So, this is the basic structure of the tunica adventitia. Okay. Before going to the classification, just 
will have a what we have seen till now. We have seen the components, basic component that is a endothelial lining. Then we have seen the uh, connective tissue, and then we have seen the muscle tissue. Then we have seen the basic structure of the any vessel, which is under three layers: tunica intima, tunica media, tunica adventitia from inside out. Tunica intima, we have seen there is a Uh, endothelial lining, subendothelial connective tissue, and internal elastic band. And tunica media, we are seeing, depending upon the whether it is smooth muscle or the elastic fiber component, predominantly which uh, present. According that, we are going to classify the vessels also. And it is separated from the tunica adventitia by the external elastic band. What is external? That is adventitia. It is a connective tissue maintained in the type one collagen fiber with few elastic bands. Coming to the classification of What is the how you classify? We classify arteries according. Now we are just dealing with the artery properly. First, according to the size, the diameter, according to the function, and third one, it is according to the major component which is present in the middle layer, that is the tunica media. Now, if you see the classification, yes, diameter, thickness, and dominant component in tunica media. Elastic artery means what? The tunica media mainly having the elastic fibers. Okay, that's why it is called elastic artery. It is a large size artery. The vessels which are present by nearby the heart, that is our heart, for example, is a very large size, a large movement. Okay, is the large size artery. What is the function of this elastic artery? It is a conductor, conducting the blood. So there has to maintain, maintain. We have to maintain the continuous blood flow. Okay, we have to maintain the continuous blood flow during diastole. Okay, that is done by this elastic artery. How we will see the next slides. Muscular artery. The muscular artery because the tunica media, the main component, the predominant component, it is a smooth muscle. It is a medium-sized artery according to diameter and function. It is a distribution of the blood to the tissue and the organs. Next is the arterial. Now, arterial is called the resistant vessels, which plays important role in the regulation of the blood pressure. There are different types: muscular artery, arterials, and the terminal arteries. Lastly, capillary. These are called exchange vessels. Why exchange vessels? Because the Exchange of the nutrients and the waste product between the tissue and the blood it takes place at the capillary. Okay. Now we go next to the coming to the elastic arm. Okay. So the main function of the is to conduct the blood. Okay. To the muscular artery is the large size artery. As I said, tunica media mainly consists of the elastic fiber. Diameter of the lumen is more than one centimeter. What are the examples? Easy to remember the example. The arteries near by the heart, which are arising from the heart, which are those aorta, brachiocephalic, common carotid, subclavian, and the common heart. All these aorta, all these are the examples. Along with the pulmonary trunk, are the examples of the elastic. Okay, so this is diagram which is going here. Uh, branches going to the arch of aorta along with the pulmonary trunk. Coming to the now the microscopic structure. As we know, we know the basic structure of the any vessel which is having the tunica intima, tunica media, and the tunica adventitia. Already we have seen the details of that. Same way now the if you see the elastic artery, it is also having the tunica intima, tunica media, and the tunica adventitia. Tunica media. And the tunic adventitia, you see here, the two layers outside the tunica intima. Now, this tunica intima it consists of the endothelial lining, subendothelial connective tissue, and the internal elastic band. The lining epithelium is same. There is a squamous epithelium, which is called endothelium, which is resting on the basement membrane. Subendothelial connective tissue, you see here, it consists of the collagen fiber, elastic fiber with few smooth muscle cells. Very few. Along with fibrosa, means what? These all are present with small, but mainly what we have present the collagen and the elastic fibers. 
Next is the internal elastic lamp. In this now, you see internal elastic it is made up of elastic fiber. And we know tunica media is also hemp elastic fiber. So it is very difficult to differentiate internal elastic lamina from the tunica media. That's why the tunica, this internal elastic lamina, it is not, it is very difficult to see in the elastic arm. Okay. Next layer is a tunica media. The dominant component in the tunica media here is the elastic fiber. How they are arranged? The arrangement of the fibers. The arrangement of the fiber they are arranged in the C. If you see, they are arranged in the form of concentric that is penistate C. These are penistated C or lamini the layers which are penistated. As I was told, the penistration is necessary for the diffusion of the blood, which will nourish the inner half of the tunica media and the as well as the tunica intima. Okay. Now, it, how many lamina are there? There are about 50 to 70 lamina. In between the lamina, again, yes, there are few smooth cell muscle cells. There are collagen fibers, there are few collagen fibers, they are surrounding the smooth muscle and the ground substance. Now, this smooth muscle, this act like a fibroblast and they are going to produce the collagen and elastin. Internal and external elastic lamina are not well differentiated. As I told, because the internal and external elastic lamina, they actually, you can see, they merge with the tunica media, which is having the mainly the penetrated elastic lamina of the skin. So, this is the arrangement of the elastic fibers in the tunica media. Okay. So, here we see the uh, picture, we can see the M, which is in a tunica media, which is showing the fibers. Okay. Uh, elastic fibers which are arranged in different layers which are being penetrated. Then coming to the adventition of the last charge artery that is elastic arm. The adventition you see here again as we have seen the basic structure it is same that it is made up of the collagen fiber that is type 1 collagen fiber they are dominantly arranged. It is having the blood vessels, lymphatics, nerves, okay, or the uh, adventitia. Now, along with that, there are blood vessels which are present in the adventitia which are supplying the wall of the artery, that is tunica adventitia and the outer part of the tunica media. So, that is supplied by the vessels and these vessels are called vasa vasura. So, why is vasa vasura? Vessels of the vessels. So, if you See the nourishment of the artery, the artery which is supplying the blood to the whole of the body, how it is nourished? The intima and inner half of the tunica media, it is supplied by the blood in the lumen by diffusion. Outer of the half of the tunica media and the tunica adventitia is supplied by the vasavasana, that is the blood vessels supplying the blood vessels. With this, we move to the next. Okay, so this is a real picture which is seen under the microscope. So we can see the epithelial lining, tunica intima, tunica media. Yes, very difficult to differentiate tunica intima from the media because what we see all the baby types, right? Which is present in the tunica media. So it is very difficult. Okay, so we can see the luminal side, and in that we can say yes, this is a endothelial lining. Okay, now we move to the Next artery, we have seen the last artery which is also called as the conducting artery. Little bit about the conducting artery, we see what is the function. We have seen function which is conducting the blood to the muscular artery. How? So, it conducts the blood from the heart to the muscular artery. The elastic fibers which are present in the tunica media, they play an important role and they are responsible for the continuous blood flow. How? See, during this history, what happens? The blood flow from the heart into the elastic artery so that wall get distended, okay, and it will accommodate the surge of blood during the uh, system. So blood will be accommodating in that surge the dilated vessels. During diastole water, there is elastic recoil, so there is no blood coming from the behind, from the heart. Heart is not moving, so it is relaxing. 
but this elastic recoil of the elastic uh, the tunica media it will help the surge of the blood to move forward so elastic recoil occurs so that a potential energy is converted into the kinetic energy okay so distended wall which accommodate the potential energy recoil it will produce so convert into the kinetic energy and so that the flow blood flow, flow remains continuous to the muscular artery and to the organs okay that's why it is called as a conducting vessel now coming to the muscular artery so we have seen the elastic artery coming to the muscular artery here i want to make clear one point if you know the component of the vessels and if you know the basic structure of the vessel it is easy to uh, describe any artery or the okay now coming to the muscular artery muscular artery is a medium size artery why it is called muscular artery because the tunica media mainly the main component it is a smooth muscle cells now these artery they regulate the flow of the blood to the organ or the tissue because of that they are called as a distributing artery so they will distribute the blood according to the requirement to the organs and the tissue the diameter of the lumen it is about 10 to 10 mm and internal elastic lamina is clearly visible this is one of the most important thing for identification of the slide so if you take a slide of the muscular artery you can easily make out internal elastic lamina because if you see the tunica media which is having a smooth muscle so can be easily separated internal elastic lamina you see the slides also. coming to the microscopic structure now now if you see here this part this is the internal elastic lamina okay you can see here now microscopic structure again the same the tunica intima which is having the endothelial lining and also sub endothelial connective tissue and the internal elastic lamina the tunica endothelial sub endothelial tissue it remains same as that of the elastic arm the internal elastic lamina prominent Yes, it is predominantly the elastic artery, but why it is so prominent here? Because it can be easily separated or demarcated by the smooth muscles which are present in the tunica media. Okay. So it will separate tunica intima from the tunica media. Tunica media, yes, very important. Tunica media mainly having the smooth muscle. When I say major component, predominant component in the smooth muscle, all of them yes, there are elastic fibers, there are collagen. Here, if you see the smooth muscles, they are predominant and they are circumferentially or spirally oriented. Okay, and they are surrounded by type three collagen fibers, the reticular fibers. Each smooth muscle cell is surrounded by the basal lamina, and they are connected with each other by gap junctions. Okay, they are connected with each other with each other by the gap junctions. So this is a tunica. Coming to the next part. That is the tunica adventitia. What is this tunica adventitia? It is same as that of the elastic artery. So okay. So what? What is the same? So it is made up of five common collagen fibers. They are uh, longitudinally okay. So they show the elastic fibers also. There are lymphatics. There are nerves. Okay. And along with that, there are fibroblasts and fibroblasts. With that, yes, it is also muscle muscle. Okay. Blood vessels supplying the blood vessels, there is a sub muscle. So this is a muscular artery. Now, if you see here, one is the schematic diagram, one is the real diagram, one is the real picture seen under the microscope. Okay. On the left, you can see the schematic diagram. In this schematic diagram, yes, you can see the tunica intima, media, and the adventitia. The tunica intima, which is showing the lining endothelium, the sub endothelial connective tissue, and the internal elastic lamina. Here, the internal elastic lamina. Can be easily identified, which is separating intima from the media. Then the tunica media, which is mainly having the spindle section, the smooth muscle cells, from uh, main form uh, uh, cells or fibers or the smooth muscle cells which are present, and the tunica adventitia. With this, we move to the next part. Okay, this is it is because the enlarged. Yes, uh, you can see here. Uh, this is a tunica. You can see the baby fibers, which is 
So in the intima, you can get a separate from the tunica. This is the tunica adventitia, which is shown here. And here is nice, you can see the uh, nucleus, rounded nucleus, the cell cells in the tunica, media of the small persons. Yes, this is a internal elastic band. What is the function of the muscular? We have seen the function of the elastic band tissue maintain the continuous blood flow conducting art. Here it is a description of the smooth muscles of the tunica and media alter the size of the lumen of the vessel or artery. Okay. And this will regulate the blood flow to the organ according to the required. Okay. That is the main function of the muscular artery. That's why it is called as a distributing artery. Coming to the next branch, the artery of the arteries. What are these arteries? It's a small size arteries with a lumen less than 100 micron. Okay, ultimately they are going to terminate into the capillaries, network of capillaries. So lumen we have seen the size which is less than 100. So there are two types. One is a muscular arterial, the lumen which is about 100 to 50 microns, and the terminal arteries less than 50 to more than 12. Micro. Okay. Then there are three capillary terminal arterioles which is having a diameter less than 12 micro. Means it is as equal to that of capillary. Okay. Terminal. That is three capillary terminal. Arterioles. So if you see the diagram, one side it is shown the arterial end, another side it is shown the venous end, and both are connected by the capillary. Okay. Now. Come to the basic structure again. Now the little bit the structures go on change. Tunica intima, media and area. If you see the tunica intima, the internal elastic lamina is absent in the artery. Okay? Tunica, in tunica intima, internal elastic lamina is absent in the artery. Less endothelial line, subendothelial connectivity yes, is present, same as that of the artery. Tunica media. It is made up of the smooth muscle layer, which is having 3 to 4 to 5 layers of smooth muscles. But in the terminal artery, just speaking of big capillary, so you can see it is lined by the single layer of smooth muscle. Okay. This free capillary sphincter will be formed by these smooth muscle cells of the terminal artery and this sphincter action of this smooth muscle, they are going to regulate the blood flow to the capillary and then to the tissue. Okay? So, pre, pre, uh, that is a terminal artery which is a pre-capillary sphincter which is made up of single layer of smooth muscle. Okay? So, artery you see the, again the diagram you can see here there is a tunica intima, tunica media and tunica adventitia. The adventitia merge with the surrounding tissue. So, adventitia it is easily defined. It will merge with the surrounding tissue. Okay, made of collagen fibers, fibroblast cells. What is the function of this artery? It regulates the flow of blood flow to the capillary. Due to its alter, alters the blood pressure by its vasoconstriction and vaso When by the contraction of the smooth muscle, it will regulate the blood flow uh, by vasoconstriction and vasodilation. That's why it is called as a resistance vessels. Coming to the next part, we have seen the artery. Now coming to the capillary. So till now what we have seen? The arteries. Arteries we have seen the large size artery, that is the elastic artery, medium size artery, muscular artery, and third we have seen the arterioles, which are two types, muscular arterioles and the terminal arteries. Now the terminal arterial, it will start with the capillary. The capillaries are inward, endothelial lining. And these are the microscopic vessels, okay? And they are connecting, as I shown in the diagram, arterioles to the veins. The diameter of the lumen is 5 to 10 micron, as that of the size of the single RBC campus, which is 7 to 8 micron, okay, to the capillary. Average is about 8 micron. The length is about 50 micron, but due to the total length of the capillary the whole of the body, it comes about 40,000 miles. Means how much surface area is about roughly about 1000 square meter. 
such a big surface area, it is occupied by the electronic system. If you come to the structure now again, there is some change. There was no internal elastic lamina in intima. Now here, there is no tunica media in the adaptation. So no tunica media, no tunica adaptation. What is there? It is a single layer of endothelium resting on the basement. So there is no subendothelial connective tissue, no internal elastic lamina, no tunica media, no tunica adventitia. Only the endothelial lining resting on the basement membrane. Okay. Now this endothelial li lining it is around with the longitudinal axis of the blood vessels and they are connected, this endothelial line, they are connected with each other by tight Okay. Surrounding that, there are pericytes which are remaining some capillaries. So, this is a capillary which is in the inside, you can see the RBCs, okay, and it is just having a spinous, simple spinous which is that is endothelial resting on the face. Now, there are various or different types of capillary depending upon the organ, depending upon the function required at the site. So, what are the different three types? One is the continuous capillary, penetrative capillary, and the side side. Now we know the structure of the capillary. The lining, there is an endothelial lining resting on basement membrane surrounded by the basal lining. Okay. Now, if you see in the continuous capillary, you can see there is a continuous membranes are there. Fenestrated, yes, there is a fen the cell is showing the fenestration. Side to side, you see again there are open spaces. Okay. So we'll see one by one. Continuous capillary. What is the what is the structure of the continuous capillary and where it is seen? The nail is in the muscle, then connective tissue, skin, now. Okay? So these are places, these are examples of the continuous capillary. If you look at the diagram, you can see the endothelial lining, there is a basement membrane. Okay? Now, these mainly these are called somatic capillaries because they are mainly present in the uh, muscle. Plasma membrane, if you see, it is a continuous of the cell. They are connected with each other by a junction. Basement membrane is completely surrounding the endothelium. Next, peripheral pressure of the endothelium is very thin. The central part which is having place it is bulging. Okay. Now, main feature is presence presence of phenocytic vesicles. So, whatever the material is there inside, the nutrient material has to be transferred. So, there are vesicles with the phenocytic vesicles, which indicates these are the trans material. So, the transport of the material is a trans epithelial. Okay? So, this is continuous capillary which is in the muscles, brain, connective tissue, skin, and the lungs. Okay? Next is the penetrated capillaries. The word it says penetration means what? There are penetration in the cell. So, the endothelial cell they have circular pores about 150 to 100 nanometer in diameter. Okay? These pores they are closed by the thin diaphragm of the plasma membrane of the cell. But this whatever the substance there are in the cell will be diffused to this diaphragm or this pores. Okay, so that's because they can easily pass through this. This capillary is they are mainly in the glomerula of the bones capsule of the kidney. Okay. Now the and it is having the thick lamina, there's a lamina in the Biomembrane. Example it is the pineal, endocrine gland, intestinal gland, and the colon. Wherever there is a requirement of absorption, okay, it means the here or endocrine secretion line. So here it is a pineal, endocrine gland, and intestinal gland, and the colon. Next is where this penetrated capillary. Next is the sinusoid. Sinusoid, what are they? A single line, you can say, these are large vascular spaces. Okay, these are large vascular irregular spaces. So these are irregular life movement. This is the diameter 30 to 40 nanometer uh, micron in the pores they are large. Endothelial cells they are having pores without diaphragm. The basal lamina it is also discontinuous. Okay. The microflip they are located either on or outside the cells of the endothelium. So that the this penetration it will help the blood and tissue fluid, they can be easily diffused to this force. Okay. So, what are the examples? Okay, like liver, bone marrow, spleen, 
pituitary gland, parathyroid gland, adrenal gland, all of these are examples of the signs. Okay. So we have seen the capillary, we have seen the different types of capillaries, we have seen the structure of the capillary. The capillary it is lined by the endothelium resting on the base of the lamina. The types of capillary, continuous capillary where the plasma membrane is intact, the basal lamina is intact and connected with each other cell by the tight junction. In the fenestrated lamina, there are pores which are seen in the endothelial lamina, which are covered by thin lamina. The uh, basal lamina it is continuous surrounding the cell. The next is the sinusoids, which is having the large pores, not covered by the diaphragm, and basal lamina is also discontinuous. Functions of capillary. So there are continuous capillary and fenestrated capillary. So diffusion of the fluid, gases and molecules between the blood and the tissue done by the continuous capillary by transcytosis, fenestrated capillary by diffusion. They secrete the endothelium 1, already we have seen uh, the function of the endothelium, okay, to reach the smooth muscle cell, blood vessel, which is helping the contraction of the blood vessel. Next, it increases the blood pressure due to contraction. But first, like these, these are the other factors. Okay, should be uh, released by the capillary when you are Okay, so we have seen up to the capillaries. So till now, we have seen the arteries. Okay, in the arteries we have seen the large arteries, which are called conducting artery or the elastic artery. Medium size artery, muscular, muscular artery. Okay, then we have seen the next that is a uh, arterioles. Which is small size artery, which are two types, okay, muscular arterioles and terminal arterioles. Then we have seen the capillaries, structure of the capillaries, different types of the capillaries, that is the continuous capillary, fenestrated capillary, and the sinuses. Now with this we we'll go for the with this we we'll go for the next that is the veins. Now veins, these are large size veins, medium size, again same as the artery, but there is a difference in the Histological structure of the vein. Okay, so medium size and large size artery, they are having the same layer, but they are not well defined as that of the artery. Okay, the wall is thin, the lumen is collapsed, and the internal elastic lamina is not seen in the veins. The last as you see, it is having tunica intima, it is having endothelial lining, there is no basement membrane. But if you see the tunica intima, which has sub endothelial connective tissue. Okay, which is having the also the smooth muscles. Okay, the smooth muscles they are also present the submuscular lining which is not seen in the heart. Internal elastic lining which is poorly developed. The tunica media it consists of collagen fibers, smooth muscle cells, microfibers. So collagen fibers are also there, smooth muscles are also there along with the microfibers cells, along with the fibroblast cells. Okay, and the smooth muscles they are arranged longitudinally as well as the circularly. Smooth muscles are present both tunica intima and the media. Okay, so that will be difficult to distinguish between the intima and the media. Next, it is a adventitious shaft. Yes, it is thicker here. Adventitious shaft of the tunica, sorry, of the vein. If you see the, if you compare artery with the vein, the artery, the tunica media is more thicker as compared to intima and adventitious. Here, tunica adventitia is more thicker compared to the intima and the media, tunica media in the vein. Okay. What it is having mainly having collagen fiber, elastic fiber, fibroblast cell. The thin wall large veins are protected from the stretching by long the oriented smooth muscle cells and the elastic fiber. So that is a function of the fibers and the cells which are present in the tunica media and the adventitia. Medium size, okay. Not going that so detail, okay. So, endothelial lining, thin layer of soap, endothelial connective tissue, tunica media again the same as of the last slides. Tunica adventitia again I will use connective tissue which merge with the surrounding tissue. Now, this is the way the schematic diagram which is showing here, which is like the endothelial. Now, here you can see the tunica adventitia, which is quite thicker uh, as compared to the tunica intima and the tissue. This is the last slide we will go. We have comparison between the Artery and the vein. 
ओके वी हैव टेकन द मीडियम साइज आर टी एंड मीडियम साइज वे ओके तो मीडियम साइज वे द लूमेन इट इज लार्ज बट इट इज कोलैप्स आर टी इट इज अ लूमेन दो स्मॉल बट इट इज नॉट कोलैप्स इट इज अ पैटर्न द वॉल इज अ थिन इन वे व्हाइल इन वी आर टी इट इज अ थिक वॉल here the internal elastic lamina is very poorly defined in the vent while it is well defined in the muscular artery that is internal elastic lamina. that is one of the key characteristic feature of identification of the muscular artery internal elastic lamina can easily identify cuticle vena has large quantity of collagen fibers with few smooth muscles and less elastic fibers but the middle cell artery you see Cuticle vena mainly consists of smooth muscles with few elastic and collagen fibers. Cuticle advantage is thicker in vein, while cuticle media is thicker in the heart. Okay, one of the feature is that there are presence of the wall walls in the vein, or there are absence of walls in the vein. Okay, so this is again the two diagram which is showing heart vein and the vein. Okay. so this is the today what we have seen so blood vessels we have seen today we have seen the histology of the blood vascular system in that to summarize we have seen starting from we have seen the competencies and after that we have seen the what are the basic uh, components of the vessel that is a uh, endothelium that is a uh, muscular tissue and the connective tissue then we have seen the basic structure of the any vessel you need a intima media and adventitia then we have seen the classification there is the artery then the veins and we have seen the comparison between the artery and vein so this is for today thank you